Um, I feel very much at home. I believe that um, change is coming, and I'm very excited. Um, I was 30 about a week ago, one week and a half ago, and I decided that it was time that I grew up. You know, get a real job, settle down, possibly have a family. And so I left my ways, and I'll tell you about them in a minute, and went upon a job hunt. Wow. I hadn't applied for a job for a very long time. And what I found was, for an officer position, do we really need a master's of 10 years experience? Like, who's that person, 40, 50 years old? And what are they paying now? I mean, we live in Barbados. Don't they know it's expensive? I mean, the amount that they're trying to pay you now is just not adding up. The other thing I found was that, you know those perks that our parents told us about, you know, the long-term <laughs> jobs and, you know, pension and overtime. No, they don't do that anymore. And then, lastly, I found that even if you wanted to have a side hustle, and I'm sure that some of you would agree with me, they have those, it's really weird, those few companies that say, um, oh, you, you need to report that. I need to report my side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> so understand that, especially when I, when I sent in my CV, and you know, it kind of jumps. I have one of those very weird CVs that have all sorts of small times, and people really started to make me feel like I bring no experience. That the last five years of my life somehow I had squandered it all and I was yet but a you know a prodigal daughter. So I had to do this reflection at 30 and I thought, oh, where was I when everybody else was, you know, sitting at a desk and doing their time and observing the pecking order? You see, I followed a uh, well. I thought at the time an unconventional approach to my professional and even personal development. And now that I've met some of my other colleagues, I'm so happy that I've found home. <laughs> you see, where everybody else kind of exists in a cubicle, I mean, not necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, my favorite place perhaps is my bed in my PJs, or, you know, crossing a stream in Nicaragua, or probably looking at, you know, a view while I wrote a report in Tanzania. You see, this way of life allowed me to pursue my various options. At the time when I finished um, studying, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. As a child, I wanted to be anything from an actress, a private investigator. I mean, the list went on. The other thing that I absolutely loved about my newfound way of doing things was that I started to like build a global network. I'm not sure whether you saw this on Facebook, but it really charts out, you know, the various places that your friends come from. As you see, I have a lot more to go, so I couldn't really go back to the working world. And the benefit of having these, having these friends from all over the world is that it represents clients, future colleagues, they link you up with opportunities. And what I have been able to do as well, and what, what is actually, I mean, for free, but what's quite empowering, is that I can use this network to link back to people at home and across the Caribbean and really make things happen. But what I'm proposing is that young people, especially now when we're, we're having these difficulties with unemployment, is that they, work with something that they're most passionate about. I mean, if we're not supposed to work all these long hours and put in all this time, why do something that you hate? It doesn't make sense. Do something that you love. Don't limit yourself to Barbados. We're talking about acting locally and having a global perspective. There are opportunities out there, believe you me, there's so many opportunities. You need to take advantage of them. If they're not there, this is a perfect opportunity to create your own. We just learned that about art, and we're really looking forward to you growing. But I recognize that this is not for everyone. After all, it's a very dynamic environment that I exist in, 
I'm always on the next hustle. I'm a free spirit. My feet are always itching. I'm always looking for the next move. So there's a lot of challenges with uncertainty. And again, people really don't get it. When you have this type of lifestyle where you, you're, you're constantly evolving as a person, where you have various interests, where you want to work on a lot of different things. Mine is generally development, but I've worked in HIV AIDS, I've worked in human rights, democracy. A lot of people try to pigeon you whole in and they really don't get it. The thing is, if I were to offer any advice to someone that wanted to tap into their potential, to fulfill an alternative way of going about their um, professional development, it was something that we discussed earlier today. Dream big, dream big. Anything you want, your, your heart desires you can have. And I believe this is something that we don't tell our young people enough that you can do what you like, that you can make money from it. It's gonna be hard, but you can do it. And if you don't have any opportunities, you are best placed to create those opportunities. Ask yourself, what do I like to do? What am I good at? What are my strengths? What am I most passionate about? More recently, um, some friends and I, we signed up onto this email subscription was called 30 Day Reset Your Life. As I told you, I just turned 30, I really needed a reset. So every day, you got an email question into your inbox, perfect. So it used to come in around 10 o'clock, I could lie down in my bed and reflect upon my life and answer these questions. And it took the form of a lot of different little exercises. We heard about a bucket list, I don't know if it flagged for anybody, but that was one of the exercises. What would I do if I only had six months to live? And coming out of that experience after 31 days, I was so very clear about what my values were, what I wanted to achieve, where I wanted to go. And they also kind of had a component about how you can possibly get there. And so one of the first things I would say is that instead, in this working environment, instead of just, you know, getting a job so you can go, you know, make some money and buy your house, how about creating your own personal strategic plan? Perhaps I've been working too much in, in projects and everything, but no, seriously, think about it. What is your mission? What's your vision? What objectives do you have? And that brings me to my second point of advice. Do your research. I'm doing a strategic plan right now. I'm not going to share it with you at the moment, it's still a work in progress, but I've started to do a lot of research. Google is amazing. We live in an information age. Wow. I, what, you, what you need to do really is, you know, research what you want to do, the topic, area of interest, your industry. Who is it that can help you get to where you want to go? It's like a stakeholder analysis for those of you that know project work. I want to bring up the next point about research, and it has to do with education. Even though you don't necessarily, I'm going to say this carefully, need to engage in an undergraduate and master's degree in order to acquire information, <laughs> I believe that the certification element is almost like a stamp of approval and that it really does open doors for you, so I would encourage it. However, as a person that is following their own personal strategy, might I recommend that you actually do something that is in line with what you want to achieve? That way, perhaps you could shape <laughs> The way that you, or rather, the type of research you do, what type of research paper you push out, because that will work towards your goal, which inevitably will make you money, and you get to live a happy and long and free life. <laughs> um, another, well, in terms of like tips about research, because the thing is about the internet is that it's very vast and we get kind of confused by all of this information. I like Twitter. I 
love Twitter. And I use that as a way of feeding in on a specific topic. But other than that, perhaps you could use Google Alerts. That way, all the information comes directly into your email, and you could schedule time for reading through and charting your course. Make it happen. Action. Action is needed at every single level. As they say, I think it's a, a Chinese proverb, the journey starts with but one step. Take that step. We live in an age where personal branding is very important. As they say in the ink. Use it. Get yourself a blog if you like to write. Facebook, use it wisely. It's a really good thing to use Facebook as a way of communicating your thoughts, getting people to know you, and maintaining your networks. LinkedIn is very, very professional. But know that social media requires a lot of work. And it's also a good way to, to engage the world. Carpe diem, seize the moment. So many times I have come across opportunities, or rather, I've called people about opportunities. And you say, yeah, send in something, send me your CV, you know, let's go. But um, I ain't sure you know. You know, get up, go out, if it's something you're interested in, get into it. The other point I would say is to find a side hustle. Side hustles are always good. For example, I offer wrap touring services and I'm in development. And I find that with the wrap touring services it allows me entry into meetings and functions that I would not ordinarily be invited to. And I use that to network, to gain information. So remember, in charting your own way in the world, look for the side hustles, the way that you can earn some money to fund the things that you do. And the last point I'd leave you with is, do something every once in a while that scares you. Right? For example, I love Ted. I love Ted. And so, my friends and I, we often talked about probably having an event, and I always said, no, 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 no. I want to talk for a Ted event. Perhaps when I'm about 50, I want to talk for a Ted event. And so, I want to thank the organizers of TEDx Bridgetown for this opportunity and for making one of my dreams a reality. Thank you. And now it's your turn. Dream big, do your research, and make it happen.